Of all the miracles of science, there's always been one that mystifies and captivates the imagination of pretty much everybody across the globe. It's part of our pop culture. It's tied to divinity, wisdom, and definitely magical happenings, let's be honest. But if used correctly, this miracle is definitely a tool for the future. Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to a very personal episode of Plasma Channel. I'm passionate about physics and energy for a reason, right? Through electrostatics in particular, you can control the world around you. I've demonstrated that with the firebending and with the waterbending. But the implications of this are huge. Which is why I give you the miracle of electrostatic levitation. Look, first of all, this phenomenon is flat up mesmerizing. And often, small objects can hover perfectly, as if held up by a string. But this isn't about strings or something that you can see. It's about electrostatics. If you'll recall from many past episodes of Plasma Channel, I'm always referring to how positive and negative charges affect one another. It's kind of a common theme, slash obsession. But levitation of this type relies on just that. When a conductive object is placed between two plates charged to a high voltage, but not in contact, something really interesting happens. With the top plate being charged to negative 10,000 volts, and with the bottom plate at a relative positive voltage, the electrons in the top of the conductive object get repelled down to the bottom of the object. This makes the top of it positively charged. Well then based off a lot of the other science in my other videos, why doesn't the object just get stuck to the top? positive and negative are attracted to one another, right? But it's not as simple as that. I'm using foil as the object and notice the specific shape that I'm using. Two sharp points on the bottom and a relatively rounded point up top. Now why does that even matter? Because if the object gets too close to the plate up top, electrons fly off those sharp points on the bottom and it loses charge. Now this concept of being close but not too close or you lose energy creates a thing called quasi-stable levitation. You'll notice in this video that it's not levitating perfectly still, but bouncing up and down just a small amount. Now this is an excellent demonstration of Earnshaw's theorem. Earnshaw's theorem dictates that a point charge in a static electric field cannot be perfectly stable, primarily due to the nature of electrostatics alone. Now for those that think this uses a string or the earth is flat, here's what happens when you knock it out of the static field or when you use too much power. It just dances on the bottom. For the power source, I used my large voltage multiplier, but you can also use the mini multiplier DIY build of mine, or use a Wimshurst or Van de Graaff. Electrostatic levitation is being used for some pretty cool things, including levitating gyroscopes during space shuttle launches. So I can't wait to see how we use it in the future. I personally find this to be really fascinating stuff. So if you'd like to support Plasma Channel to create longer and better videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.